Triple kill is one nade. So he's going to get the res. Yasawi's still on his knees, and that's going to be the kill confirmed. And another knock once again onto Leith. And Ragnarok is just forced in a corner. He just can't escape on this fight whatsoever. He's going get, to get pushed up. And actually moving out, he jumped straight on over to join that's up with the likes of the Reef. That's yep. a good idea because you do not want to get clustered up by Kanina Power. Unfortunately, they do lose two players in the, in the process, but at least they still got two players up and ready to go. And they need to survive to be high in the standings. Plus, if you notice, Navi were eliminated by, by Team Unique. So the yep. PMPL CAS winners do at least show a bit of a sign that they have something that they have something to offer in the final day of the EMEA Championship 4. There are other CAS brethren, Kanina Power, they're looking strong. 1218, that deep rotation through Military Island, very heavily worked out. And they did exactly what you suggested, Max. They waited for the next circle to shift up. Then they went across the bridge because they knew at that point, nobody was realistically going to be looking in their direction. Yeah, and also if the, if the bridge cross was not going to work out for 1218, they could just straight up send the buggies into the water, then just swim their way down south oh, of Seed or true. Esports and maybe try and go for the compound breach. Uh, that was going to be an opportunity. But yeah, they gave themselves also the vehicles, which is going to make their later stage a lot easier to deal with. We're going to send Zach Onivore forward with a McLaren, once again, making me extremely jealous because I did not get it and I will never get it, unfortunately, because my luck is indeed that bad. Yasako was about to move and Panda, we haven't talked too much about Panda. They're in a great rotation, but Reef, he's going to be perfectly cooked. Going to be Ragnarok once again forced up, and they just surround wow. it so heavily. Kanina Power out for blood here, Imperium. They are looking good. Four kills on board oh, for nice. the time being, but Destiny, who pushed in onto next three is compound, took it over, got the squad right on four kills themselves, stand up and make EUS proud as the representatives in the EMEA Championship. It's not over yet. They either can't get the revive or they can disengage away as three players left to point out though with this circle shift on phase five centering up quite nicely outside the farm region guns footballers they're into very strong compounds inside this circle i would even say the strongest compound in this circle True. they are looking golden as to being on the top three podium he's going to send oh, himself no, forward Mickey. once again with another McLaren. Oh, no. Uh, that's going to go for what of Wonders. I mean, they saw the kill feed. They saw the knocks coming on through. They are fully prepared to go for the send it. And they're already up to five kills. And they're looking to clear out this compound. If they can do so, that will be amazing. Fashion Pioneer will be just going for the lob of a sneaky re-engage from the back end. And Son HP will be left stranded on the rooftop, on the balcony. And he knows he's about to get pushed up. Might get enough time to go for the engage onto, Le onto Zessi to go for the res, but... He just has no escape potential in this fight, Imperium, man. We're just looking at the undoing of Water of Wonders. Game stuff, one knock, Perfect. but that's all he gets, as Naomi shall be known as the killer of the Water of Wonders. Oh my lord. This is what I love about Kanina Power. They're always there, right? They now may the struggle sometimes. They may kind <laughs> of look downtrodden, but in a major tournament, they always manage to show up on the final Thank day. You. And this is it in the NBA Championship. Nasser, they're going to be compounded. 12 18 are putting them under pressure. Zikonafor is low in health. TP Cooks is knocked down. Zikonafor, as far as I know, he's the only one that's left standing. Yeah, had so little amount of compounds. Currently three in this circle. Oh. And actually, one, two, three, four. Oh. You need to go for the breaches as everything connects. And that's it. That's the eSports clear it out. But Kanina Power, they're going for third party. Are they going to get to double digits at phase five? That might be just about to happen oh, for no. the CIS team of Kanina Power. Though two players knocked away. NASA Esports, they need to find this opportunity. These are a golden chance to take down Kanina Power as they were trying to take you out of your own compound. The nades are going wide, the utility does not connect, and NASA are going to send NASA to go for the res onto Batika, giving Kanina Power enough time to get back up as a three-man crew. He hasn't gotten the revive in time. The molly goes oh, through. The molly. It goes into the shack. It gets a knock and it leaves Miracle left on his own. Can he create a miracle? He comes around his side. He grabs one knock, but with two players up, he's oh. looking for it down on the side of the building, playing the sets wonderfully, Max, as he gets the pre-fire shots off. But it's the third party Whoa. from pseudo from footballists that get the squad wipe on to the Nasser boys. Okay, I'm sold. This game is a banger, Imperium. I'm loving every single second of it. And we even got more action to come on through. As Football Asia said it, they're taking a the fight. Great name from down below from SK Tong. He's going to be the one to initiate. But you do not have the team. The Molly connect oh my on God. Fidan. 
everything comes on through so well for Sudor, but unfortunately it goes wrong as one of their players gets knocked out. Rom on his knees will not be able to give any information because of that smoke, so football is still completely blind as to how this push oh, might no. unfold. That's that a grenade. grenade! That's a banger! That's a win! And that is football is out of the game as Sudor Esport once again going hella aggressive on that push. Oh my god, and that's the compound that's inside the circle. But Kanina power aren't over yet as Panda looking on in, in between the shack and the wall. They're going up against guns, but guns, they have the better of them for the time being. Yiz is still up. He's the last one standing in around the side of the wall. Freak is pre-firing through the smoke with the Thompson in his hands, and that is beautifully played by the guns player. Still, Yiz not to be taken out for the time being. I like this coming out from Guns. They know that they- Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, no way! How did- oh, <laughs> How did that take so long to kill him? I have no idea! But Ooh. it's really cool from Guns because they knew that only had knocks. So they knew there was still a player, there was a smoke, there was still active. So that they were just taking a very slow and respectful approach. I like that from Guns. And now they got full control and ownership of the North. Then they're not in circle. They need to keep on pushing forward. And the road is in play too. A lot of teams currently down south and only a few will come out on top Imperium. This is going to be one game for the books as five teams currently are still into this one. Pseudo Esports, Guns, Conqueror, EU, Kanina Power and Destiny. Zaro, what can you say? Last player up for Destiny. Solo play. It's what he does best. Now the good thing for Kanina Power, Max, is that Conqueror are pushing a little bit closer to Sudor. So that distraction yeah. might be made to allow Kanina Power to push in. You can see Nomi, he's crawling his way closer to giddy. that wall, but I don't know if they know that Conqueror are there. I think Nomi has a giddy suit too. I think I spotted it for a second. So that is going to make it a little bit easier to not get spotted out by Sudor or Conqueror. And if they can go for the third party, that two man team up might just be what they are dreaming for. Mihi Amazaro. A little bit down below, very prone to taking utility damage, especially grenades and guns. Know that they currently have the priority. That Nate connects onto me, he puts him extremely Perfect. low. He's in jeopardy right now. And that nice. extra bullet will put him straight in the knock state. And might be sent straight to the afterlife if Mozaro also goes down himself. Ralph is going to be the one pushing air with a McLaren. And that's going to be all said and done as Destiny get eliminated in fifth position. Six kills to gun Imperium. Can they make the back-to-back -back dream become reality? Man, you say that's Jeopardy. I say how to win this game for 500. Bob, guns are doing a wonderful ju <laughs> job of controlling the North. But Kanina Power under pressure conquered their rivals back in last year's EMEA Finals for that golden PMGC spot are keeping Kanina Power at bay. They're coming in hot. Conqueror, Vito already made it over to the walls. They could be prone to take a nade damage from Sudor, but Sudor, they want to let this fight end so they can maybe capitalize on the opportunity of the fight uh, as it goes and fizzles out. Those are the smoke. I don't know who chucked those smokes, but it does take a lot of information away. Nate connects Whoa. onto Nomi. He's going to be confirmed out of the game. Only one player remains for Kanina Power. As now he needs to take care of himself, but that's not going to be going any further for them, unfortunately. Imperium is still a bang of a game for them. 17 points. Kanina Power were in fifth. And with those, they are over guns and they are over 12-18. But guns still in this game is not going to be an easy spot to hold on to. Hell of a game for Kadena Power. 78 points in four games. You cannot argue with that one. But the final three teams of this game are left us live. And guns, he, they really have to control, right? Because Conquer, Sudor, they're battling it out. I mean, that circle, man, there's not much can really do. You've got to win the fight versus Conqueror or Sudor, and then you've got to cross over the road versus Guns. There's no way. This has to be a Guns winner and a chicken dinner. And if it isn't, I'm going to be generally surprised this time around, Imperium. Is Azzy going to go oh. for the wraparound? SK Tom will be able to win that mini one-on-one. -on -one. And Conqueror, they're up against a four-man crew of Sudor Esports. Going to go for the free oh. fire, but Reeves will be losing that one instantly. As Sudor are locking just so strong as of recent times, but the blue zone is adding an extra time factor to this engage. Conqueror and Sudor Esports, you have to end this fine ASAP. You otherwise, guns are going to third party and steal all the kills away. Let's get done, going to jump on over the wall, and that's it for Conqueror. Eliminated in third. 12 kills over to Sudor Esports. The hardest has yet to come, as now they need to cross up against a three man engage of guns. Yeah, but unfortunately for Gun Sudor, didn't really lose any players in the fight, but as one player is knocked down, frags start to have the body advantage. Yeah, grenades would be big. You know exactly what kind of angles and what positions are being held down by the three players of guns, but the blue zone, we said it, that's an extra time factor. It is so hard under pressure with the blue zone on your heels to make these kind of decisions, to make these push actually happen. 
Ralph behind that car too. That's great. Canard explodes. No real car. So he's going to be able to get himself some sneaky angles underneath though. Oh he's going to have his feet God. get shot up by the other side of Sudor. Let's get Tonga to try and jump over. This is a great smoke roll. Gets the information. And with that third person perspective behind the wall, gets it done. But no guns will be the one to take himself the fourth <laughs> game of the final day of this PMPL. And that's the back-to-back, -back, baby. We're getting it once again. Let's go. <laughs>